The only blues you should be playing is B.B. King. You used to be able to shoot a round of golf in a few hours. Now it drags on longer than a weekend with your relatives. It takes all day to finish 18 holes. You play the first hole, and then you wait. Finally, you tee off, and then you wait. You go to your tee shot, and wait till they are off the green. Slow play has never been worse. Let's all learn to recognize and avoid these slow play sources. Playing the blues. Too many golfers overestimate their ability and play the blues. You shouldn't play the blue tees unless you have a 10 handicap or better. The handicap of most people playing the blues is their swing. Lost balls. Don't spend 20 minutes looking for a lost ball. These thrifty golfers organize a safari with tents and camping gear and push further and further into the underbrush. One of the adventurers cries out, Eureka! We found it! I see a titleist at the bottom of that ravine. Come on, man. It's just a golf ball. It's lost. You can buy another one. Don't worry about the ball. Some 12-year-old will find it and sell it back to you from his used ball store set up between holes on the front nine. Don't let his skateboard throw you off. This kid is the Bill Gates of used ball sales. I know one kid who made $20,000 in one summer selling used golf balls. By August, he had set up a drive through for golf carts. It looked like a mini McDonald's. He repeats your order into a little speaker. Your order is six top flights and six Titleist X outs. Please pay at the first window. Yardage gurus. Another person sending golf back to the ice age is the golfer that needs to know the exact yardage. Is the pin at the front of the green or the back? What does the yardage on that drain say? Let me check my course guide. It says it is 183 yards from this eucalyptus tree. After tearing up some grass and throwing it in the air, they say, Looks like about a half club breeze. Again, if you are a good player, you can go for the pin. Otherwise, put it on the green, pal, and let's keep moving. Putter woes. One source of slow play are weekend Nicholases who evaluate a putt from every direction. First, they stand behind the ball and plumb bob their putter as if they are surveying new road construction. They don't feel confident until they consult a U.S. Corps of Engineers topographic map that they have spread out on a Black & Decker workmate set up on the green. Then they take a soil sample to determine moisture content and grass variety. By this time, you've sat in the fairway so long you're getting hungry, so you build a fire and roast hot dogs. Golf Course Management I don't find many course marshals that do anything to deter slow play. One marshal told me, There's really nothing we can do. Even if we let people play through, it doesn't help. Maybe he would be more effective if he wasn't sneaking into the trees for a shot of Jack Daniels. He isn't helping when he yells at a foursome for having eight players on the fairway because he's seeing double. Many golf courses don't get it at all. I saw one course that had a sign near a water hole that said no fishing. So far, I haven't had to wait because the foursome in front of me was fishing. Hey, not a bad idea. Martha, I shot 175 again, but look at this mackerel. I hooked him with some ham on the end of a sharpened golf tee. Eating at the turn. Come on, learn to order food quickly. Simple, fast, bing, bang, boom. Don't ask to see the wine list. Don't order chicken and shrimp and white cream sauce. In fact, don't even sit down in the grill at the turn. Eat while you play. My brother can hit his driver 275 yards while drinking a Heineken. Mr. Equipment. This guy has the latest... Callaway, big as half a loaf of rye bread, Bertha. He had the first metal woods on the market. He had the first graphite shaft. He had the first titanium. He scours golf magazines looking for articles like, Will the new kryptonite shafts help your game? All day he must tell you what equipment you should have. You should get a tight lies, he says. 
you would have hit a good shot there with the tight lies. Listen, pal, I would have hit a good shot there with Jack Nicholas's clubs. I miss hit it, graphite breath. Come on, kids. Don't take 18 practice swings and let's all get home before the sprinklers pop up at dark and hose us down.